In this video, we'll be finding the relative minimum of the rational function f of x equals 2500 plus 175x plus 25x squared, all divided by x. Let's first uh, divide everything by x and make this function equal to 2500 divided by x plus 175 plus 25x on those second two terms the x's are gonna an x is gonna be canceled out of course from this x okay now we want to minimize this so let's make it look like um, kind of like a parabola uh, in, in vertex form it won't be exactly that because we have a rational function here but let's let's do that we're gonna complete the square to do that so first what I'm going to do is uh, move this all around and put the 25 x first so I'm going to write that as 25x, and I'm going to put this in parentheses. And then I'll say um, plus 2500 over x. And then I'm going to add the 175 out here. Okay, I haven't changed any values or anything. I've just done that because I know I'm going to be completing a square here. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to think about if I rewrote this as 5 times the square root of x, quantity squared, and then plus 50 over the square root of x, quantity squared, and then plus 175 still out there. Now it's starting to look a little bit like um, we've got perfect squares in the first term and the last term. And what we can do is think about if we multiplied 5 times the square root of x times 50 times the square root of x, we would get uh, 250. But we're going to have that twice when we, if we multiply through with, with FOIL. I'll, I'll show you when we show the perfect square. So I'm going to subtract 500 here and add 500 here because, again, I don't want to change any values of this function. Uh, this function is still all equal. So I subtracted 500 here and added 500 here. Okay. And I know I kind of took a leap here. Uh, now let me show you what this looks like when, it, when it's factored. I'm going to factor this as 5 square roots of x minus 50 square roots of x, oops, square roots of x, quantity squared. Now over here I've got plus 675. Okay, now if we were to uh, FOIL this, 5 times the square root of x minus 50 over the square root of x multiplied by itself, no, we wouldn't get, we wouldn't get uh, 25x uh, plus 2500 over x. We would have those those middle terms, which would add up to negative 500. And so that's why I, I put in the negative 500 here, and of course I have to add it back over here also. All right, now to minimize, we want to minimize this function. Well, the best we can do is to get this down to zero. Even if we got it down to negative, we're squaring this thing, so we can't do any better than to get this to zero. So I'm going to solve this equation, five square roots of x minus 50 over the square root of x equals zero. Now the value of x that makes this true will be the x value that makes this whole function uh, a minimum a minimum function. So let's let's find that out. Let's multiply everything through by the square root of x. I'll just show that here. Square root of x and what happens there? Well, uh, that's just going to turn this into x. Square root of x times the square root of x is just x. So I am going to have 5x and then minus. Here they'll cancel. So I'll just have minus 50 and when does that equal zero okay really quickly i am running out of room here so i'm just gonna scroll down just a little bit more and i'll subtract 50 from each side and i've got 5x equals zero and then i'll divide by five oops 5x equals 
I'm, I'm adding 50 to each side, so I'm going to add 50 to each side. There we go. Now, <laughs> I will divide each side by 5 to get 10. Hey, x equals 10. So it says find the relative minimum. Well, this is the value that makes it a minimum. So when x equals 10, the value is, uh, the function is minimized. Then we can plug this back in here. Now, we know that when we plug 10 in for here, this is the function again. We haven't changed any values of this function. We've massaged it quite a bit, but we haven't changed anything. If we evaluate, if we plug in 10 here, or if we plug in 10 for x here, we will get the same result because we haven't changed the function. We've just changed what it looks like. So I, I will say then the function f of 10 equals 5 square roots of 10, minus 50 or the, over the square root of 10, all squared, plus 675. Hey, guess what? We already said that this whole thing is going to equal 0 when x equals 10. That's what we just solved here. So we know that the function evaluated at x equals 10 is 675. So this is the minimum and this is the value that makes this function a minimum. Okay, I hope that helps.